Okay, I want to do a little um, look at uh, the new Savage Gear um, 3D line through trout. Um, looks like it's going to be a, a new super low from Savage Gear uh, yet again. Um, but a few people seem to be a little bit unsure of what actually it does. Basically, it's a, it's a soft low. Um, comes in three sizes. Uh, I think it's 15 centimeter, 20, and 30 centimeter. These are the 20 centimeter version, pretty much as big as your hand. Um, each one's got its own weight, and, and uh, there's two categories of weight. So um, you've got um, a slow sink, that slow sink version, and you've got uh, I think the name it moderate sink. The slow sink version in these 20 centimeters is 93 grams. Um, the moderate or intermediate, whatever it's called, is uh, is a little bit heavier, and it, and it does sink a lot faster. Obviously, there's no there's no obvious difference in them both. Uh, that's a light version. That's a heavy version. The light version, the slow sink version, um, is really good for shallow water. Uh, I've had a quick play with it so far, um, and it it stays just under the surface. If you cast down and wind it, it'll stay at that depth. You can obviously let it sink a little bit slower. It'll, its sink rate is going to be slower. So you can obviously let it sink, sink, and it'll and work it slow and you work it really slow. This one, and the tail proper wiggles on it. Um, the, the moderate sink, you obviously have to work a little bit faster if you're in shallow water to keep it from sinking. But obviously that means with it being heavier, you can work it in deeper water. So I try and uh, get the one to suit whatever waters you're going to be fishing. Uh, I've got two versions at the moment. Um, I, w I have also got a 30 centimetre, but that's really huge. Um, something like 300 grams, so it's very heavy. So don't don't look at that unless you're into really big loads. Um, the 15 centimetre looks spot on um, for um, for lighter setups, and I'll probably get some of those from a from a medium range. So it's a, it's just a swim bait, soft plastic swim bait, and it basically swims. It'll, it does give off a, a lot of wiggle, so it will it will catch fish. It's already catching big fish as well, actually. Um, Savage Gear boys are already been catching loads of like they do. But um, what Savage Gear do, um, and you can't fault them for it, is, is they make lures that um, enables pretty much anybody to go fishing. And that's from all rangers. They make lures for people who are really experienced, uh, and they make lures for people, who, but they make a lot more lures for people who are a little bit less experienced, and you can just go out and catch fish. Take for example the um, one second. Got one here somewhere. Like on my rod. Take for example Savage Gear, Savage Gear Lip Low. I mean that one. Battered and bruised. Um, caught. Un it's probably caught hundreds of fish. And and that, that version has caught me. Oh God, hundreds and hundreds of fish. Because that low is a is a low for anybody. Who it's a swim bait. It's a hard swim bait, and it works. So so you're. Your casual load angler can go out and buy that and it'll work, it'll catch fish, and that's what Savage Gear aim to do. However, um, I don't think I've got the soft loads with me. One second. No, I, I haven't got a soft soft load with me, but the, the previous soft loads that were you still you can still get the Savage Gear soft load player. Uh, another version of load that you can just go out and buy and catch fish. Soft load. It comes uh, in a couple of formats where you can just use a jig head or the uh, the Savage Gear four play harness and lip skulls, and it allows um, your average angler to just go out and fish, put on put on a, a rig, and away they go. They don't have to mess about making things and changing things. So you new. Let's talk about the new one. Your new one comes strangely for some people already with a wire trace on it, and that's why it's called the line through trout. And the idea of this line through trout, um, you can see the hook system there. You've got a treble hook mounted under the body, and a, and a hook is bedded, and you've got a, sing a single stinger. And basically, when you hook up, the idea of this is let's say one of those hooks is in, into your fish, the trout, low, can slide up and down this. And that basically means your fish has got hold of your, your hooks, like that, in there, and your trout is free of the mouth and the teeth, and as it shakes its head, um, those hooks um, 
are away from the body and that, that means that the, the, the fish's mouth and teeth are away from, from the lure. So your lure um, lasts longer, you don't, because it's soft lure they get, they get cut up, um, it'll last longer and also that weight of the lure, because it's a, because it's a big lure, it can't use it as momentum to, as, sorry, as leverage to get it out of the, the fish. So that's, that's the idea of it. And that's your, that's your line for your trout. Um, a great idea, a gimmick. Some people already use this idea, um, but Savage Gear are now bringing it out for everybody else to use. But what you've got to think about is this: with as with most white racers, they're going to get they're going to get a little bit battered and bruised. Now this one, I have I have used and caught fish on it. So if we have a look at the white race on it. Hopefully you can see the wire trace is a little bit bent, a little bit kinked. Hopefully you can see this. If not, I'll add some fours. But your wire, your wire, wire trace is a little bit bent, a little, little bit kinked, and that's what happens with with pike. For it could be a small pike, it could be a huge pike. In fact, it's usually a small pike. Usually it tends to make a mess. So. If you're buying this, you need to be able to make your own wire traces up. Uh, I can't remember exactly what the, what, it, what it comes with, but it's probably like something like 49 strand uh, wire, and it's just crimped and tied on. Now there is a, there is a Savage Gear um, video where it shows you how to make make up a trace. So I'm not going to go through that. There's no need for me to go through that. But you need to look and and learn how to make traces. Some people. Um, old school pikers will not trust Savage Gear's rig. They will only trust their own rigs. Simply because of the they've gone through years and years of buying tackle that didn't that didn't work. Crimps failing, uh, knots failing, everything. So they make their own so they trust their thing and but all they're doing is making the exact same as that. So you need to make sure you can make make up a new trace for it. Because that 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 will last. There's no there's no obvious damages. It's slightly just chewed up a little bit. There's no obvious damage to it. But you need to be able to make them simple as that, because that trace will not last forever. Compare compared it with um, a, a, a titanium wire trace. Now this titanium wire trace, uh, these are made by a guy called Chico, Chico's Lows, at UK, and he sells those at something like six pound each. And that's titanium trace, and you can just see one tiny bend in that, and that's that's it. Now that fish, that, that, you know, that fish, that trace has probably caught me. I don't know. Every fish this year, every pike this year that I've caught on my heavy gear, that's caught it, and that's as much as as bad it is. And the only thing I ever do is change the clip every now and again. So a few people have, have started experimenting by making the traces out of titanium. I don't know if it works any better. I haven't tried that yet, but it's something I might look at and do myself. Um, and the other thing you need to think about is, let's say I'm fishing. Which I am do, and I want to put my four play on. Sorry, not my four play, my 3D trout. Put the four play off, put a 3D trout on. Now I would be connecting it to another trace. So what you can do instead instead of tying your trace to your, to your line, just tie a clip to your line. That's what I've done. Tie a clip to my line so I can take this trace off, this stiff titanium trace, and just put that line through back on and that's it that's what I've, I've done um, I would I would recommend these um, those clips are what I use on all my traces they come on the Chico's ones but I always buy spares as well I buy spare, uh, spares from um, from Dave Lum DL Specialist Tackle online and I get I get some of those and, and I change them every now and again every, every couple of months depending on how often I've been using it because every time you open and close them uh, you weaken the link. And that's a line through trout. Um, I'm not going to mess about showing you too much underwater footage. Uh, well, actually I'll have a go, but if it comes out I don't know. But I'll have a go a little bit, but same again. Um, Savage Gear have got that covered. They've got the new Water Wolf camera. Um, they've got some underwater footage. They've got underwater takes already with these, so there's no point me covering that. But I'll just give you my opinion from my view, and that's going to catch fish. Um, you'll see in a couple of little short clips. Um, it's caught fish already for me. I've hardly used it to be honest because I've, I've just struggled to get out. But 
it's got fish for me and, and so far each one has um, it has come away it's, it's been hooked oh, it's actually been hooked in the in the single right in the bottom of the lip it's been hooked just there on the fish and that's been that comes away free so um, the only other thing to tell you as well which I forgot is um, the wire threads through the body but there's a hole at the top and a hole at the bottom it's pretty much got a y, y shape in there so you can thread the low through the bottom and set it up underneath or you can set it up for it to come out the top and then you'll have your, ho your, your hooks so it's got a hole as well and your hooks will be mounted on top like that and that'll allow you to you, to bounce your load across things across snags and not get, not get caught in weed or on rocks on the bottom and things like that um, so that's another way you can do it so, so by make so by being able to uh, make your own traces you can rig it up how you want you could rig a couple up you can you can get a couple and have one rigged on the bottom one rigged on the top or whatever and um, to be honest i don't think it'll make a difference to the hookup rate if you're on the top or the bottom so you could even just go for the top it makes no difference um, but that's going to be a great low uh, and should catch fish just watch the, watch the clips already on the internet and fantastic it's going to catch fish so it's something to have in you I'd, I'd, I'd recommend going for that 20 centimetre size it, it's, it's spot on, 30 is quite big 15 can be, is going to be pretty good as well I would imagine um, but make sure you can make your own traces up uh, I'll do the thing to check speaking about traces um, when you first get one, test it it's got it's crimped in a couple of places so test it put it on something solid and give it a good pull um, and see if it see if it holds up see if you think it's going to hold up so yeah that's the um, savage gear line through trout uh, i'll hope to do more videos hopefully i'll catch some fish on it when i get when i can get a chance to get on on the river and it's not either a color of mud and when it's not actually when it's actually fishing well at the moment it's not doing too good hopefully i'll be able to catch some fish on these um, in the meantime, catch them yourself and put some pictures up on, the, on my Facebook page or anything. And um, if, you, if you haven't got them, you need to buy them. You can always go to Low Lounge, check out Low Lounge. Um, they've already got these these 20 centimeter versions in. I think they've got I think they've got the slow sink version, which is, is similar to the for the soft four play in, in the, the depths that it works. So if you're already using that sort of low. Get the, get the slow sink from Martin at, at Low Lounge um, and you'll catch fish and if you don't catch fish you'll, at least you'll enjoy it watching how lifelike that is closest thing in low fishing to um, live baiting <laughs> in fact uh, I might actually put it under a float and see what happens right I'm off to go catch some fish <laughs>